bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in the channel, my channel here, Heaven and Hell Life program, the one you should do every Sunday to Thursday, to Thursday, to Thursday. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, by the special grace of God, today we are going to another level. Please, as you are watching me, stay stay tuned and listen well and uh let everything be there so god bless you in jesus name uh please let's pray let's pray our everlasting father we want to bless your name because you are faithful you are redeemer you are glorious you are almighty without glorified in jesus name we ask you father god that you fill our heart and touch our heart today in jesus name as you are hearing the word of god we help us Open our eyes to see the truth of your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, by the special grace of God, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, Christmas. 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 Why Christians are on their way to hell for celebrating Christmas. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. According to the research and according to the knowledge of the word of God and according to the spiritual uh, intersections and the inquiry from God I got to know that Jesus Christ was not born on December 25, as people thought he is. It was just a lies and a vagabond lie from the people of the Catholic people, the Roman people, the Catholic people in those days. When I go into the search, because I see that uh, Christ people are preparing for Christmas now, I'm only going to talk about Holy Christmas. Then we have Easter there, we have other, other celebrations. There's something we call Father's Day, Mother's Day, birthday, and so, so on and so forth. Celebration of things. There are many like that and that. We are not going to that area now. What we are going into now is Christmas. Please and please, this is an information to you according to the research and according to the uh, spiritual, I you know, uh, inquiry from God. Jesus was not born on December 25. To this moment, nobody knew the time Jesus was born. Nobody know the date. Nobody know the time. Nobody know the hour. But we know that he was born in a particular year. But nobody know the month and the time. It was not given. People have been trying to retrace it and to search it. Some are saying uh, match this. Some are saying uh, this and this. Some are trying to calculate it. Because uh, there was something that happened to uh, Mary. So people calculate it that uh, the, 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 the time uh, Mary received the visitations uh, of, uh, of uh, Angel Gabriel to tell him of how he's going to give birth was around March 25. It was around March 25. And so because of that, he, she, uh, so the people of the Christian, they calculated it that once uh, Gabriel came to tell her, probably she has conceived by that time, you know, or she conceived, uh, she conceived after that time. So they calculated that nine months later, she gave birth. And that nine months resulted to December 25. But this, is, this was not exactly what happened. In those days, there was a particular uh, celebration people are uh, uh, worshiping, which is his name is called a uh, mass something, mass something. It's a demon, it's an idol. 
it was being worshipped by the pagans of those days. Pagans are those who worship idols. They are idol worshippers. That's who we call pagans. So that's what the Bible called pagans. Those who worship idols. So they worship this mass something. I say mass something, his name. So any December 25, they used to worship it. And now, when they worship it, they are the people who bring this red color, red and white color, this Christmas tree you are seeing, it is not for Jesus at all. It was adopted by the church. You know, as it is going now, if you look at the church of nowadays, you will see that the same thing of what is happening, the mistake people are making there, is the same thing they are making now. So they adopted the things of the world into the church. The things of the world into the church. What the people are practicing there is what they adopted into the world, into the church. So if you look at this now, yesterday I was driving and I heard the songs. I just turned on the radio. So I see that they are singing a Christian song there. So I begin to listen to it. So when the particular person finished singing, they play another Christian song. Claiming to them that it's a Christian song. If you, if you hear the way they are singing it, in fact, in fact, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. They are singing it with, you cannot even, you cannot know it is Christian song. Except if you listen to it where they are mentioning Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The language they are using, the slanger they are using, the slang they are using, all these things are just working. The beat, the song itself, rapping inside the song. So I was like, I was not surprised because I know that the world has entered the church and the church has entered the world. So that is what is happening. Uh, the church is now behaving like uh, the people of the world. So this is exactly what happened there. This is the beginning of what happened there. The pagan are the ones celebrating Christmas. They call it mass then. So when the Christian two come together, they wanted to celebrate the, the birth of Jesus Christ. And they calculated and it was nine months. And it resulted to December 25. Meanwhile, there's a, a particular celebration. They're called mass in those, in those times. And then the Christian wanted to celebrate their own on December, December 25. And it was a early day for the mass. So, and the Christian too calculate nine months and it resulted to December 25. And, uh, and so by the time the Christian decided to just celebrate their own, the mass too are celebrating their own. And there was a serious controversy among that thing. It was a serious controversy that caused a serious uh, confusion and argument. And uh, they come and sit together and they come to conclusion, the agreement that, uh, okay, as from this moment, oh, we'll be celebrating it together. You'll be celebrating mass, we'll be celebrating uh, Christ. And that is where the, the, it comes, Christ mass. It was Christ mass. So that mass was a demon. There's a particular demon they are worshiping that is called mass. His name is mass something. So, and they are celebrating Christ too. So they now turn it together and say we'll be celebrating at the same time. So, actually, the pagan are the one that is celebrating it before. Before the Christian begin to derive, they just calculate it from their head that, okay, well, nine months this time, let us be celebrating the birth of Christ. But actually, nobody knew the time Jesus was born. So they begin to celebrate Christ. And uh, the Nazis, they want to join it together. It's now become Christmas. And it was so pity that in these days, Satan used to come out. It was a, it's not a, it was a real fact. In this day, 25, Satan is the one that used to come out to manifest. Satan manifests himself in that time. And God will never for any reason come there. So any Christian that is celebrating Christmas is on their way to hell. If you give your family money for Christmas, you will go to hell. If you help somebody on Christmas, say, in sense of, uh, ah, yes, I do Christmas for us now, and you give them money, you are, you are also supporting evil. And you too, you are on your way to hell. Christmas cannot celebrate, I mean, Christian cannot celebrate Christmas for any reasons, because it is not the Lord's day. The only time that the Lord asked us to come together to worship him is Sabbath day. 
any other day is no match for God. It's not God did he command us to worship him on that time. So they are worshiping pagan. All this Christmas tree you see, all these uh, gifts that are given, it was a pagan celebration in those days. All this Father Christmas you see, Santiago, it was the devil they are referring to. So they, 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 they will be carrying a... Now you will see that in the Christmas day, they will be carrying something like that has a horn. They will wear something that has a horn. In those days, they wear something. It was Chris, uh, Santiago they are using there. Or something like that, I don't know. So they are using them. So when they use him, they, 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 they believe he's actually, he's actually something is the devil. So that was the belief of the pagan there. That this Santi something is, is the devil himself. So they will ask him to come in the form of Father Christmas. So they call him Father Christmas. Because he's the one that is ruling. He's the one that celebrated. So any Christians or any schools that celebrate this and bring for the Christmas, they are automatically inviting the devil to be their father of the day. So it is a day that a Christian should never celebrate. It's just the same thing as the day of Halloween. It's just the same thing as celebrating Halloween. The same way. So you as a child of God, you should not involve, you should not allow your, your children to go to uh, your daughter or your sons to wear clothes. In the Christmas clothes, he said, I want to buy Christmas clothes. No. I told you if we're going to wear anything, let it be on the first day of the of the year. That uh, January 1, where every Christian should come to the church to pray and to celebrate God's grace of keeping them alive to the next year. You can wear a good clothes on that time and to say thank you, Jesus, to worship him, to say thank him for making you to see a new year. Not that he will just come and... Uh, uh, you will just be come on 25 days you, uh, on the 5th to the 5th and you begin to wear a Christmas coat. No, 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 no. It's not proper. It is a sin. Anyone that do that is on their way to hell. And this is a serious matter that God will never joke with. If you do that, if you wear them, you and you're on your way to hell. Please be careful and uh, be very careful. I pray the Lord God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So this is the message I want to give to you today about Christmas. You are not serving Jesus. You are not celebrating Jesus. You are celebrating the devil himself. These are lies from the pit of hell that the church have put in us into. When we grow up, we wear Christmas clothes. I wear it too. I still have a picture there. A small picture where I, I wear I, I wear Christmas clothes. I was standing like this. I was putting goggles. You know? <laughs> they put glass there. <laughs> I do like this. I was standing there. And there was a particular thing. I do like this. I cross my hand like this and talk. So that's different black part like that. That uh, you see, <laughs> that I do that sort of thing. It was out of the ignorance. But when we grow up and we begin to study the Bible for ourselves, we understand that we are not serving Jesus. It is written. You can also search it yourself in Google, search for it, you will see this story there. I know it's not, you, are, you might not find it easy because it's, it's something I already know for a long year. But I know because I also searched for it. I didn't see the story anymore there. Maybe they have remove it. You know, these are the truth. But if you keep asking, you will know more about these celebrations of Christmas. It is not good for Christians. Any Christian that celebrates it is going to hell. God bless you. God be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray you will not end up in hell in Jesus' name. Please, before you go, press the subscribe button and press the notification button too. Send it to your friend, send it to your family. Warn them of the danger of celebrating Christmas. Any household that celebrates Christmas, the devil will come to their house and dwell in their home. God bless you. Shalom. You are blessed and the Lord be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you.